to another tutorial for the Edexcel Further Pure 1 Maths course. This is the third video on coordinate systems and it's about the parabola. Looking at the scheme of work. The scheme of work says we should know the Cartesian equation for the parabola. Students should be familiar with the equation y squared is equal to 4ax. And we're going to cover that in this video. The parametric side of things we're going to come back to. The idea of a parametric equation of a parabola, a rectangular hyperbola, we'll come back to. The focus directrix property of the parabola we'll cover. Concept of focus and directrix as the locus of points equidistant from the focus and directrix. We will cover this. So we will cover all the following in the video. We will then do a video on the parametric form of these things and finish off with discussion of uh, another curve, a rectangular hyperbola. Right, what's a parabola? Well, parabolas, hopefully in your mathematical career today, you have heard of the word parabola. You've maybe heard it when you're talking about quadratic graphs. Parabola is a shape as follows in that picture. A parabola is a, a part of a rainbow. A parabola is usually the shape of a satellite dish when rays come in and they get reflected to a focus point or a focal point. And we're going to come back to this idea in a second. So there's where we may have seen parabolas in nature or in our mathematical discussion so far. Let's tighten things up a little bit and actually really carefully and geometrically talk about what a parabola is. Right, I'm going to start with a blank page. I'm going to draw myself a pair of axes. I'm going to make that one by, this one bx. Right, I'm also going to um, have a point which I'm going to call, I'm going to have this point here on the x-axis. I'm going to give it value a0. So x is equal to a here. Okay, a is some number, some number bigger than zero. This point here I'm going to call the focus. Okay? Right. I'm now going to draw a straight line here. And maybe if I colour this a different colour so we don't get confused. Um, I might even make it a dotted line here. Okay, I'm going to draw a straight line. And that straight line is going to relate to this point here. It's going to be the line x is equal to negative a. Or you could rewrite that as x plus a is equal to 0. Okay, I'm going to draw that straight line there. So it's a uh, away from the origin, which is here. Here's the origin. It's a away from the origin, as is the focus point at this point here. And it's just a straight line otherwise. Now, I'm going to give this name a line. I'm going to call this uh, line the directrix directrix and we need to know these words for um, the purposes of the FP1 exam. Okay, now I'm going to say to you I want to draw all the points, I want to plot all the points okay, that are the same distance perpendicular, the same right angle distance from this line as they are from that point. The same distance at right angles from this line to this point here. I want to plot all such points. Now, here's an obvious one. Here. Zero is on this. Because the distance at right angles from the directrix is A. The distance from the origin to the focus is A. That point's on the line. But also, a point somewhere like here is on the line. That straight line distance here is about equal to that distance there because that's a slant distance. Maybe I've over-exaggerated it a little as I've done that. Maybe it should be a bit more like this. That also would be on the curve. That Actually, the reason it is is my directrix is too far away. It should have been somewhere like here. Okay, So that point there and that point there uh, are about the same distance away. That's another point on the curve. Similarly, we could go up here and that distance to that distance there would be maybe here. And you could imagine plotting all such points and what it might look like. It turns out it looks 
something like this, and it would be the same down here. Look something like this. Okay, so it turns out that all the points that are the same distance, the same right angle distance from the directrix as they are from the focus, those coordinates look like that. And the shape we're drawing out here, I mean, this is not accurate, this is just a hand drawing here, it is what's called a parabola. A parabola is symmetrical about the x-axis and all the points on it are the same right angle distance from the directrix as they are from this point called the focus. The focus is at the coordinates a0, a is some positive number, the directrix is the straight line, x is equal to negative a, that same a. And that is what a parabola shape will look like. And that's the whole idea of what par parabolas are about. We've tightened up the definition. Okay, so now I've got a definition of a parabola as the locus of all points that are the same right angle distance from the directrix as they are from a focus point, uh, and the focus point is at A0. I, uh, I can write this in, an, in a neater way, so let's just take a second to write this down neatly. Here is the graph we've just drawn. And that's the point I was trying to make here, okay? So there's the graph I've just drawn. Here's the focus at A0. The directrix is the line x plus a is 0 or x is equal to negative a. I draw all the points that are the same distance, the same right angle distance from the directrix as the distance from the focus point, which does not have to be at right angles. When I draw all those points out, it gives me the red line and the red line is a parabola. The parabola goes to 0, 0 and it is symmetrical about the x-axis. And they are the key points of a parabola. So just uh, if you want to write this down for some definitions, a parabola is the locus of points where every point x, y on the parabola is the same, should be right angle distance from uh, a, a fixed point s, no sorry, is the same distance from the fixed point s called the focus, not right angle, and a fixed straight line called the directrix. That is at right angles. Some key points, some key definitions we need to know. The parabola is the set of points where sp is the same as P, px. That's just restating this. But here are the definitions we need. The focus has coordinates a0. The directrix has equation x plus a is 0, or x is equal to negative a, however you want to phrase it. And the vertex is at the point 0, 0. And they are the key ideas you need about a parabola. Right, at last we know what a parabola is and the key points. We don't know the equation of a parabola yet, and that's something I need to then move on to show you. So, that is the idea we have had from the previous slide. Now, I want to work out the Cartesian form of a parabola. I want to know the equation of such a locus of points. And I'm going to show you how to do that. What you do is you take any point P on the line, on the uh, parabola. So take point P, which has coordinates x, y. Now, the one thing you know about that point is it is the same distance from uh, the straight line distance from the directrix as it is the same distance from the focus point. The directrix is the line x plus a is 0, the focus is the point at a0. So that is the only fact you know about that. So that is the only fact you need. Now, just before I launch into some algebra here, an idea on the next slide which you should know, but I'm just going to make you aware of again. If you want to work out the distance between two points, say x1, y1 and x2, y2, the way you do it is you use Pythagoras' theorem effectively. Okay, You work out the difference in the x's, you square them, the difference in the y's, you square them, and then you square root it to get the distance. It's an application of Pythagoras' theorem, because that length there is x2 subtract x1, that length there is y2 subtract y1, 
To get this side here, we've got a right angle triangle. Square this, square this, add them, and square root them. Or, if you were just leaving it in terms of um, the distance squared, you didn't work out the distance, you worked out distance squared, it would just be x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. You haven't taken square roots there. So this is the idea I'm going to use here. What is the distance between this point xy and that line here? Well, it's a straight line distance. How far is that line there? It is a distance of, uh, it's x this way in the positive x direction, and this line here is negative a that way, so the distance of the line must be um, x plus a. And I'm going to square it. I'm going to square that distance. Now, I know it must be equal to this distance squared as well. Okay. Now, this distance squared, how do I work out the, the distance squared between the point a0 and the point uh, x, y. Well, uh, using the work on the previous slide, looking at the distance between two points, is the x number subtracted squared, so x subtract a squared, and the y numbers are subtracted squared plus y subtract 0 squared. Okay, and that has just used the definition of a parabola. Now let's go ahead and work these things out. x plus a squared works out to be x squared plus 2ax plus a squared and x subtract a all squared is x squared subtract 2ax plus a squared and y minus 0 squared is just y squared so we get plus y squared. Now you will notice you can subtract x squared from both sides. You can subtract a squared from both sides. You can add 2ax to both sides and you would get 4ax is equal to y squared, and hence y squared is 4ax. That is a Cartesian form of the equation. It has y's in it, x's, numbers, a is just a constant, and there you go, you have the Cartesian form of a parabola. All parabolas are of the form y squared is equal to 4ax, a is bigger than zero, and remember, a0 uh, is the focus, and remember that x plus a is 0 is the directrix line. And that is your Cartesian form. So, to up, and we've proved that from first principles, so just to update our, our previous work then, the, uh, this is the exact same slide we had previously, but now we know that the Cartesian equation of this curve is y squared is equal to 4ax. A is positive. So that's an additional piece of information we now know. Now what I want you to do, I want you to have a go at an example on the next page where we're told what A is, and from first principles I would like you to derive the Cartesian equation. You, you could just substitute A in here and get it, I don't want you to do that. I want you, just like I did on the previous um, slide, using the distance between any point and the focus and directrix, I want you to try and work out the Cartesian form of this curve. Here we go. In 10 seconds, I'll go through. Okay, now, um, it asked you to prove that the locus of P has equation of the form y squared is equal to 4ax, stating the value of a. Now, you could have, just by observation, you know that uh, the points x, y are the same distance away from 6, 0, and this is the focus, as they are uh, to the straight line x plus 6 is 0. You know by default that a is equal to 6. You know the general equation of a parabola from the previous slide is y squared is 4ax, so you know y squared is therefore 4 times 6 times x, which is 24x. Now, I didn't want you to do that. I wanted you to do it from first principles. How I wanted you to do it, I wanted you to draw yourself a little sketch like this. The point 6, 0 was your key point. The line x plus 6 is 0 was another point. And you know that they were the same distance where you knew it's going to look something like this, some sort of parabola. So any point on the line x, y, 
okay, is going to be the same distance from there as it is from there, although I've drawn that a bit funny. So you're using the distance formula. This distance here would be x plus 6, and we're going to use the squares of the distances, so x plus 6 squared. This distance here will be the difference in x's, which would be x minus 6 squared, and the difference in y's, which would be y minus 0 squared. Expanding that out and collecting like terms, you would have got yourself this formula here, and the value of a, therefore, would have been equal to 6, and you'd be done. Now, unless they ask you to prove that, okay, um, you, you can just use the knowledge that a parabola has the form y squared is 4x. You don't have to prove it each time. But if they ask you to prove it, you had better be able to do what I've just done. So the next two examples are just going to be using um, the fact that we know what the focus is, we know what the directrix means, we know that the equation of our parabola is y squared is 4ax. Right, here's an example. I'm going to do part A, I'm going to let you try and do part B. Find an equation of the parabola with focus 7, 0 and directrix x plus 7 is equal to 0. Okay, for this one, simple. For part A, we know what is A, what is the, uh, A is going to be 7. And we know that the equation of a parabola is y squared is 4ax, so we substitute 7 in, so we got y squared is 4 times 7 times x, which is 28x. We're done. It is as, as simple as that. Part B, why don't you try, try part B? I'll go through in five seconds. Here, uh, we have a focus of root 3 over 4, 0. A directrix, well, it is of the right form, because if we add root 3 over 4 to both sides, we would get that. So what is our A in this case? A is root 3 over 4. So we know the equation of a parabola is y squared is 4ax. So y squared is 4 times root 3 over 4 times x. The 4s cancel, and we get root 3x. y squared is root 3x. We're done. Simple. Using the knowledge of that y squared is equal to 4ax. Next example. I'll do the first one. You try the second one. Find the coordinates of the focus and an equation for the directrix of parabola with these equations. Part A. We know a parabola has form y squared is 4ax. We're given that y squared is equal to 24x. From these two facts, we know 4a must be 24, so that therefore a must be 6. We found a. What is therefore the um, uh, focus? The focus is the coordinate 6, 0. The directrix, I'll just write directrix, is the line x uh, plus 6 is equal to 0, and we're done. Part B, you try yourself. Okay, going through part B, we know y squared is 4ax is the general formula. We're told that y squared is equal to root 32x. Therefore, from these, 4a must be equal to root 32, and therefore a is root 32 over 4. Simplifying your thirds, root 32 is actually root 16 root 2 over 4. Root 16 is 4, so they cancel, it's just root 2. So a is root 2, so therefore the focus must be uh, root 2, 0, and the directrix must be the line x plus root 2 is equal to 0. And that's it, I'm done. And that's everything we need to know about the, the Cartesian form of a parabola, and I've proved it for you from first principles. To solidify this knowledge, read pages 45 to 48 and do all the questions in exercise 3b. Then tune in to the next video where we talk about the parametric form of parabolas and we do some exam style questions. Thank you for watching.